Hi everybody! How are you doing? Well, possibly you're here because you're also looking for a solution for this error code 0 by C 0000F at the end, something that Windows comes up with after installing some apps. And if you look for the solution, we've got it for you. Let's go! Hi again, really nice to meet you. My name is Michael and I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we love to offer you more practical data solutions. And today we talk about this very specific long error message appearing on Windows. Something that I know that a lot of you are trying to fix and figure out why it happens. And of course, before providing you all these fixes that we have, let us first talk about why this specific error message appears. Obviously, this error message is typical for Windows as an operating system, and namely Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10. And the most common scenarios, we could have a corrupted file or a group of files, something wrong during an installation, or even a loose connection or a loose cable could be provoking this error message to appear. And if you're wondering how to fix it, yeah, that's the right question. And let's begin with answering it. This error code is to be found with both 32 and 64-bit versions of Windows 7, 8 and 10. There are several ways to fix the issue. Try any of those in order to find out which is going to work for you. We start with the first solution. Any interruption of the power supply due to a damaged cable can result in booting problems or crashes. Make sure that the external devices are removed from the computer beforehand. And let's follow these simple steps. We switch off the computer then we make sure it's disconnected from the power source. We're checking the cables to see if there's any damages or not. If the power cable is damaged, change it and run the PC. However, if the power cable seems to be fine and healthy, we continue with disconnecting external devices connected such as USB devices, webcams and microphones. And then we try to power on the computer again. Did that work? If it didn't, we go to the next solution and we use Bootrec Executable Utility to fix the issue as well. We're going to need a USB drive or DVD drive or we can do that without installation media for this method. Here are the steps. We put on the Windows 10 USB or DVD. We reboot the computer and we make sure to press the key when we see this message appearing. Press any key to boot. And then we proceed and click the Repair Your Computer option or we simply press the R button. We select Troubleshoot, then we click Command Prompt. As the command screen appears, we type the command bootrec slash fix MBR. Then we press the Enter key in order the command to be executed. We type Exit, press Enter again, we remove the USB or the DVD and we try again. Thing is that in certain situations you don't have the installation media, so executing the very same steps, however, through the Windows Recovery Console. We power on the computer, we press Shift and F8 keys simultaneously. Once the corresponding screen appears, we click Troubleshoot and then we choose the right options in order to get to the command prompt. We type again bootrec slash fix MBR, we press the Enter, follow the same steps and luckily your computer is cured already. If it isn't yet, then we take a deep breath and we go to the next solution. I promise this one is easy. Well, sort of. We need to boot the computer using the Windows installation disk. We want to open once again command prompt and try to run the check disk command. So let's type it together. CHKDSK, then space, then the drive letter, space, slash, F. And make sure to repeat each and every step for all the available drives on your computer. So hopefully this last step has helped you to eventually recover your computer from this error. Thing is that with check disk, if it is applying any fixes to the file system, there will be some files which are probably going to be marked as unreadable or deleted. Therefore, we need to think about how to recover them. And if you need to recover any lost files or corrupted files, we have the perfect solution for you called Recover It. Let me show you how to use it. Doesn't matter if we talk about audio files or photos or videos or Word or PDF files, Wondershare's Recoverit is the most suitable app to do the recovery. So let's open Recoverit, then we select the hard disk drive in which all the corrupted files are located, then we click on the Start button in order to begin the scanning, wait for a few minutes, or at any point of time if there's a need to, you can interrupt the scanning process, then Preview and select these files that you want to be recovered. 
and click this recover button in order to restore them. So there we go, nice, easy and hopefully successful. Well, let us know how it went in the comment section below, or if you have any follow-up questions or ideas, feel free to share them in the comment section below this video. Also, something very important to get access to more practical data solutions. Easiest ways to be subscribed to our channel. I'm Michael from the Recovery Team and can't wait to see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.